Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a constructions drawing. This drawing you will find on page 46 of the Grade 8 Technology and Engineering Graphics and Design Workbook. On this page, you will find a 2D schematic drawing given to you on the top right hand side. This is a preview of the model that you'd need to construct onto the sensor lines provided to you in the drawing space. Starting point R is given to you at the far right hand side of the center lines. Let's read the question. Copy the given figure onto the center lines provided using construction methods. Use point R as a starting point and do not erase any constructions. We will start this drawing by placing our ruler at point R, which is the reference point of the start, and we will measure the 60 millimeters as indicated on the schematic. Also, will we add the radius of 10 millimeters, which is the radius of the circles at the front and back end of the handle, as you can see on the schematic. Draw a light construction line or a center line at the distance of 10 millimeters inward as indicated here. We use 10 millimeters because the total width of the handle's diameter is 20. Therefore, the radius will be 10 millimeters. Now that we have measured the two center lines that we need for the center point of the arcs of our handle, we can place our compass at the right hand center line, stretch it to a distance of 10 millimeters, and draw a solid arc as shown here. We can also place now our compass at the left hand side and draw a solid arc as shown here. This will complete the two ends of our handle. Now we will place the ruler lined up with the top end of the two arcs and draw a solid line. We will also line it up with the bottom end of the arcs and draw a solid line. With the next step, we will measure the first 10 mm starting from the end of the handle. This will represent the length of the copper ring. The next 10 mm will represent the length of the metal pin. No diameter has been provided, therefore we can use a good proportion. I suggest a diameter of 10 mm for the copper ring and a diameter of 5 mm for the metal pin. We do this by starting with the copper ring and measuring 5 mm above and below the center line and drawing the rectangle as shown here. We do the same now with the metal pin. Measure 2.5 mm to the top and 2.5 mm to the bottom of the center line and draw in a rectangle as shown here. Continue your construction by placing your 60 degree set square at the top left hand corner of the metal pin. Draw a line as shown here. Flip the set square and draw another 60 degree line similar to the first one from the bottom left hand corner of the metal pin. On the far left you will notice two light construction lines at an angle of 30 degrees. Combined they will make the 60 degrees as shown on the 2D schematic. Place your set square at the bottom construction line and draw the line as indicated. Do not draw the line all the way to the tip as we will have a round edge. Move your set square now to the top one and draw the same line at the top. Now that we have completed the sides of our blade, we can start with the construction of the round edges at each one of the corners on the blade. In order to do this, we need to play random dots on each side of the blade. You will see I usually place two dots as shown here. The distance between the dots does not matter, although it might be helpful not to place the dots too close to each one of the corners. Place your compass now at each one of the dots, stretch the compass to a radius of 10 millimeters and draw a light construction arc above each one of these dots as you can see here. And please make sure that the radius of the compass stay at a distance of 10 millimeters. Now that we have the construction arcs in place, 
we make use of our set square and align it perfectly with the pinnacle of each of the arcs on one side and draw a light construction line as shown here. The construction line will be parallel to the outer edge of the blade on that side. Do this with each one of the sides of the blade. Make sure that the construction lines intersect perfectly with one another. This will create the center point of the arcs that we want to draw in the next step. With all the constructions now complete, we will label the center point of each one of the corners as shown here. Place your compass at 01, stretch it to a radius of 10 millimeters as indicated in the 2D schematic and draw a solid arc to close off the outer edge. Do this at each one of the corners. This will complete the construction of your model. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the tutorial on page 46 of the Great A Technology and Engineering Graphics and Design workbook.